guys, as you can tell by this lovely background decorations, I'm doing a Halloween video! Again! <laughs> I know you guys saw last week we threw a last minute Halloween party, but what would a party be without an amazing last minute costume? I am gonna show you guys my top five super easy last minute costumes that you can do the day of your Halloween event. If you guys are anything like me, you wait till the last minute to find Halloween costumes. I cannot remember a Halloween where I was prepared before the day of Halloween. And although this year I'm sure I will again wait till the last minute, now I can also help you guys do the same. <laughs> you can of course modify these, make them more simple, or you can make them more intricate so you have a cooler outfit. I'm doing pretty moderate to easier end, but you can jazz these up however you want. So I'm gonna start on my nose for this. You can use any eyeliner that you already have. I got this little palette from Wet n Wild Fantasy Makers. I will link everything below in the description box where I got them and what the prices were. So the first thing I'm going to do for this look is draw a little triangle shape on my nose as a little patch. I should also mention that I just have base makeup on I guess, I don't know, whatever I had on all day so far is what I'm starting with. So that's my little patch on my nose. Now I am going to take another brush and fill it in with the red. So that little patch guy's done. Now I'm gonna add so marks on it by just making lines out of the black line, going in a little bit as well. I'm actually going to do the eyes next. If I do my mouth, I'm sure I'll get it all over me. I am going to take the dark. And I'm going to line my under lashes to make them a little thicker. I'm actually going to add lower lashes so they look a little bit like droopy. I'm using my duo dark tone adhesive and then just Ardell lashes in natural. Now, just remember, since you are doing these on your bottom lash, you're gonna do the lash upside down, and the smaller lashes should be on the inside. While that dries, I'm gonna do my mouth. Now we're gonna make it look like there's slits on either side of my lips, and then add stitching, just like we did to the nose. So back in with my black and my small little brush, go from the corners of my lips and out along my cheekbones. These stitches are gonna start off longer by my mouth and then get shorter as we go out. Okay, now we're gonna do two little circular rosy cheeks. I'm gonna go back in with my reddish pink color that I have for my nose and make two circles right on the apples of my cheeks. I'm just gonna put a little bit in the center and then rub it out with my finger so it's not too dark. I'm just gonna add a little white shine on the outer edges of the circles. So using the white that came with this set as well, I'm just gonna make two little marks. Now going back to the eyes, if you don't wanna wear fake eyelashes or you wanna make it more dramatic, you can take black makeup and do fake lines coming down to look like eyelashes. So I'm gonna do that underneath the fake ones. You can go in and add a lipstick if you'd like. I'm gonna do a dark color. You can match it to the pink and use the same color if you want or keep them nude, whatever you wanna do. I just wanna make it look a little bit creepier and darker. Now that your makeup's done, you're just about ready to go. You just need your costume. So what I'm doing for this look is just grabbing a flannel that I have in my closet, throwing on some jeans, some boots, and a big floppy hat. The next look is a similar process to the first one, but a little bit different and definitely a different outcome. So I'm gonna do the basic doll look and then we can also add a crack, like where a porcelain doll that was dropped. You can even do slits again, like with the scarecrow to make it look like she broke in another way too. So I really wanna accentuate the contour on my face, make it less natural and more distinct and a little bit pinky like a doll. So I'm just taking my blush and actually with this eyeshadow brush, I'm gonna follow my cheekbone and actually even go all the way under the apples of my cheeks. 
Now I'm going to take my regular blush brush and kind of blend that in. And then I'm going to go in with some actual contour colors. This is the Smashbox Trio Contour Set. And I'm just going to accentuate those hollows a little bit more. Next up, we're going to make the eyes exaggerated and a little bit bigger. We're going to do this by adding white eyeliner underneath the eye. And since I had a little remnants of my eyeliner from the last look on, I'm going to take some of the white cream from the palette again and put it over that so it can kind of camouflage any remaining black I have. I'm also going to line a little bit under the lash line, so actually on the lid itself. And then I'm going to make sure on the inside it takes on an eyeball shape, not just a big droop. Now that we have that, we're going to create a new bottom lash line by adding black under the white to move your lash line down. So for this look, we're going to do a wind-up doll, but I also want to show you guys how to do a ventriloquist doll mouth so it looks like it can open up. So to do this, we're going to do two black lines down the corners of your lips. I'm then going to take a little white and do it on the inside to add some dimension to that. I want to make the lips look a little bit smaller and puckered, so I'm going to add a little concealer to the corners of my lip. Now taking my lip liner, I'm going to draw in smaller lips towards the center. And I'm just using that red color in the palette again for the lip color. Now I'm just going to add some pink eyeshadow. I already started on this eye. Taking a brown eyeshadow pencil, I'm just going to draw some little freckles on my cheeks. Okay, now if you just add your eyelashes, you'll be good to go. Or you can make it a little creepier by adding a crack. I'm going to do one right on my forehead. So the battery died unfortunately. While that was charging, I finished and then had to fix up the cracks and then I just went and added some white lines underneath the black to make it look a little bit more dimensional. I also think I went a little too far out with these and angled out instead of straight up and down to note for you guys to fix. For the wind up key of the costume, I simply took a paper towel holder, spray painted it black, and then I took some craft paper and just cut out the key part. I then put two slits in the paper towel holder and slid in the key, made two holes in the other side of the paper towel holder, and put a ribbon around it which will go around my waist. on me in the past, you might know that I used to dance on an all-star hip-hop team. Back in, gosh, 2009, we did this makeup that I did on all of the girls that was a web on the eye. I had way too much practice doing this, so I should be able to do mine in like a minute, but I haven't done it since like 2010, so we'll see how it goes. So I'm making sure my brush is really cleaned off so it's super thin because these lines need to be really precise. I'm going to start making a line from the inner corner of my eye and I'm going to swoop it out my cheekbone. Now for our second line. This line's going to go from the center of the bottom lash and then following this one kind of sweep out as well. My next line is going to go from the corner of my eye out and up. Now we are going to attach all these long pieces by making smaller individual swoops. We could also maybe add another one up here. Yeah, let's do that. Now 
Now, I just want to make my eyeshadow a little bit more drastic, so I'm going to take some black eyeshadow. You don't need to be precise about this at all. You're just going to coat your lid with black. If you have green eyeshadow, you can put that right on top. I'm just going to kind of tap this on top. I'm going to add eyeliner on the top and bottom. You can use the black that we just used for the web. I'm going to use my Maybelline liquid pen liner. Okay, for lips, since it's such an intense color, you want to be careful that you really line the outer lip first so you're not getting it all over your actual skin. So I'm again just using this cream. It's going to work for everything. Now that our makeup's done, time for our hair and our wardrobe. Since I'm a spider princess, I made a little tiara. To make this tiara, I took a plain black headband and then I just bought wire from Michaels. Okay, for this next look, I'm just leaving my eye makeup on from the Spider Princess. If I wash my eyeballs one more time, they're going to fall out. One thing I forgot to mention earlier is that I didn't buy any new clothes for this. The only things I bought were some makeup and then some stuff to make the accessories for the outfit. I actually first saw this look on the YouTuber Crispy uh, a year ago, maybe two years ago. So I'm using kind of a modified version of hers. I want to kind of bring this down a notch and do more of a simplistic version of it. I'm using this cream makeup that I bought again from Target, under $3, so really inexpensive. But before I get to that, I am going to go back to my palette. Taking my white, I'm going to draw the line that I want the shape to be in. So I'm going to follow the tops of my cheekbones, go under my eye sockets, and then switch up over my nose. Now using your cream tube, we're going to fill in the lower half with the white. Now we are going to do the nose. So back to the black in the palette. Taking the black like we did in the scarecrow look, we are going to go from the corners of the mouth out. Now we're going to continue this black line in the center of our lips. It's time for the teeth. So you're going to make little lines where your teeth would be if you could see them on top of your skin. You can absolutely stop here with just the lines, but I'm going to add a little dimension to make them look a little bit more realistic. To do this, I'm going to make little Y's on the tops and the bottom of each line. Now again, you could stop here if you want. I'm gonna blend the teeth out a little bit more and then also add some definition to the hollows of my face. I'm gonna take a little bit of black on my finger and kind of rub it into my cheekbone. Just to add a little more depth to this, I'm gonna add dark lines under the sockets of my eyes. For my costume, I ran into a few minor problems. So I didn't really get a full costume, but we'll make do. One of the 
coolest movies that I saw this year was Mad Max. Charlie Theron's character was such a freaking badass. Uh, I was just so obsessed with her. It was just a beautiful movie. Everything was so visually pleasing. So figured why not pay respect to that by doing my final look as Furiosa. Okay, so my hair is already pulled back in a low bun because I'm not committed enough to Halloween to shave my head. The makeup for this look isn't too complicated. I'm gonna darken my eyes and then do the black kind of smudged oil looking appearance that she has in the movie and bring it into my hairline. Let's start with some black shadow and I'm just gonna darken right under the eyelid. Moving on to the upper lid. I'm gonna fill up all the way to my eyebrows. They're gonna be pretty much covered as well. I think this costume idea is so fun because there's so many cool characters in the movie that if you have a group or you want to do a couple's costume, you have a lot of options for that. Okay, she also gets some dirt all over her face. So using my contour powder, I'm gonna kinda add some contour under my cheeks. Nothing too precise, cause again, it's supposed to look more like dirt than pretty makeup. I'm gonna take a little bit of the black in my fingers and just kinda rub that in a little bit. The most important part of this costume is definitely gonna be the outfit. So what I did was buy this big, huge, t-shirt at Target for $3 and I'm wearing a black tank underneath because it kind of looks like she has a corset on and then I'm gonna just throw on some green army pants I had and some combat boots using a bunch of belts that I found laying around the house I'm gonna put those around my waist because she has about four on then using the wire that I used for the tiara in the spider princess I'm gonna just wrap it down my arm to look a little bit mechanical then I bought this $10 strap of leather that I'm gonna use to wrap around to look like it's holding up all the pieces I also made this little belt buckle that she wears. It's like a skull with some flames coming out. All I did was cut it out of paper with an X-Acto knife. I'll show you little clips of that, nothing special. And then I wrapped foil around it. If you have spray paint, you could easily just do that. And then I glued it just to a piece of black paper and I'm gonna attach that to my belt. I also found this awesome bag of a bunch of chains. So those are gonna hang from my belt as well, just like hers in the movie. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed my top 5 quick and easy last minute Halloween costumes. Be sure to comment below and let me know which one was your favorite or if you have any questions on how to do them, I'll be happy to answer you before Halloween so you can get your costume together. If you do end up using any of these, please send me pictures so I can see. Just tag me on Twitter or Instagram so I can check them out. Alright guys, I love you. Happy Halloween. Bye. The wall area that looks quite boring. So we're gonna paint these little guys up so we flying around our bar and scaring our guests.